George explores the grain chain with support from farmers and millers across the UK. Hi guys, I've come down to the science lab at school to experiment on some wheat and bring it to life. Just kidding. I collected some wheat from a local farmer the other day and have brought it in to get a closer look under the microscope. Let's check it out. When you see wheat in a field, it looks quite tall, a couple of feet high. But it's only the very end of the wheat that we're interested in. It's called the ear and it looks sort of feathery. If I crack it open, then we can get the grain out. There they are. About 50 grains here. I only need one. They're about the size of a grain of rice. Now if I break open this grain, we can get a closer look. Firstly, I can see that the outside layer looks really thick and tough under the microscope. This is the bran layer. When you eat bran cereals, this is the bit you're eating. It's tough for a reason. It's like a skin which protects the inner seed from attack. Now we can see the two parts that are inside. The smaller part is called the germ, whilst the larger part is called the endosperm. Where's the germ gone? Got it. The germ is the embryo of the plant, the tiny soft center. It contains something called a radical. This is the start of its root system and a pumule, which develops into stems, leaves and ears of a new wheat plant. So if you're planting wheat, this is the important bit. But if you're eating it, the endosperm is a bit more interesting. There it is. It's a starchy storehouse of food that the germ feeds on whilst it's growing. But it's a part of the grain that we like to eat too. In fact, there's a very famous type of endosperm we all like to eat. You might have seen it the last time you went to the cinema. Here's a clue. That's right, popcorn. The white fluffy part of popcorn is the corn grain's endosperm. Heat just makes it expand out of its shell. Next time you go to see a movie, you could ask for exploding endosperm. Whew. Talking about popcorn is making me hungry. Let's get back to the kitchen. I'm having a go at making a funny looking loaf today. It's called barrel bread, or sometimes it's known as pistol. Put them up. Smells good. Let's open the tin and see if it's worked. Perfect. It's made with two tins that join together, making a sort of like a log shaped loaf. When it's cut, the slices will be circles. And as the tin has ridges, it's easy to cut. It's made with a milk-based dough, so it's soft and white. I reckon this would be perfect for toppings that are circle-shaped too, like eggs or salami. Mmm. See you soon. George explores the grain chain with support from farmers and millers across the UK.